Aloha. Welcome to Oahu and welcome to Hawaii's only TV news for visitors, the Wear TV Hawaii Weekly News. I'm Cindy Polly Rossio here to tell you some of all the things that are happening in and around Waikiki. First up is Where to Go, an overview of events and activities of interest around town this week. Then there's the weather and surf report. If you miss any part of the Wear TV Hawaii Weekly News, you can catch it again. This broadcast repeats all day every day, approximately every two hours. This week, take the opportunity to check out a real ukulele contest. The fifth annual Duke's Ukes contest is being held at Duke's Restaurant in the Outrigger Waikiki Hotel. The competition features four age categories. Auditions have already been completed. The contest takes place Saturday, October 2nd from 10 a.m. to noon. Also taking place this weekend is the 6th Annual Seafood Festival. The festival is a celebration of Hawaii's seafood and fresh farm produce. A variety of island chefs ranging from poke contestants, shrimp truck owners to fine dining will present a selection of dishes using ingredients throughout the islands. This delectable event will be returning to Oahu's North Shore Friday, October 1st and Saturday, October 2nd. Discover the history of Hawaii at the Bishop Museum. Founded in 1889 by Charles Reed Bishop, the museum is the largest in the state and the premier natural and cultural history institution in the Pacific. Bishop Museum is known throughout the world for its cultural collections, research projects, consulting services, and public education programs. Call 847-3511 for more information. On Friday, American Idol winner Chris Daughtry and his band will be performing at the Kaka'ako Beach Park Amphitheater in Honolulu. They are currently touring internationally in support of their second album called Leave This Town, which debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 200 charts. Tickets are on sale at BAMPProject.com. The show takes place this Friday from 6 to 10 p.m. If you're feeling artsy, head to the Hawaii State Art Museum. This week is the last chance to catch the exhibit titled, Where We Live, Places of Hawaii. The exhibition showcases art, which reflects the unique environment and striking landscapes of Hawaii. The art includes both realistic and abstract images of the many tranquil, dynamic, and vibrant settings found throughout the islands. The museum is open daily from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. For even more art, head to the Art on the Zoo Fence to meet local artisans and see their work. Artists personally present a wide variety of original works. The event is held every Saturday and Sunday, year-round, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. in Waikiki. It's along the Honolulu Zoo Fence on Montserrat Avenue, across from the bandstand at Kapilani Park. Call 946-4836 for more information. On Saturday, the University of Hawaii football team takes on Louisiana Tech. The game takes place on Saturday, October 2nd at the Aloha Stadium. Kickoff is at 5.30 p.m. Tickets are on sale now. While you're here, why not start your day with a beautiful sight? Get up early and catch the sunrise or head to the beach for a spectacular sunset. The sun rises just before 6.20 in the morning and sets around 6.20 in the evening. You can expect mostly sunny skies with highs in the mid-80s, isolated passing showers in the evenings, lows would be in the 70s with northeast winds between 10 to 15 miles per hour. Surf along the south and west facing shores will be in the 2 to 4 feet range. East facing shores will be slightly smaller from 1 to 3 feet and waves on the north facing shores are expected to be in the 3 to 5 feet range. If you're going to be hitting the beach, always ask a lifeguard about conditions before you go in. Hawaii's waters are beautiful but can be dangerous. There are coral reefs lining the shores and sometimes powerful waves. Even though many others may be in the water, if you're unsure of your ability or the surf itself, don't go in. Just enjoy the waves from the safety of the shore. Wherever the day takes you, don't forget to use sunscreen. We recommend SPF 25 or higher to protect against the strong sun. Of course, you can't take me with you when you're out and about, but there's a local tour guide with up-to-date info on where to go, what to eat, and what's in store for entertainment and other helpful tips. Look for the Best of Oahu magazine and Waikiki kiosks. 
Thanks for tuning in to Wear TV Hawaii, the first TV network for visitors. Again, if you've missed any part of the Wear TV Hawaii weekly news and want to catch it again, this broadcast is repeated throughout the day, every day, approximately every two hours. You can also find us on Facebook at MVP Hawaii. That's where we also have links to this broadcast, plus our Twitter and YouTube updates. You can find out more by logging on to wearetraveler.com as well. I'm Cindy Polly Rossio. Mahalo for watching and aloha.